Listen, I've had my share of struggles since being back in the United States, and I want to talk about it. You got one. Hey y'all, it's Shada Imore, your favorite expat with nomadic tendencies. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. And if you're oldie but goodie, hey boo. Please go ahead, subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave a comment, share it, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I post. Today, I'm talking about the struggles of being back in the United States. A few videos before, I'll either link it in the description box or I'll have the uh, link up here somewhere. I talked about having culture shock being back. And so today I wanted to delve in a little bit more about my struggle in general. And so the first thing I wanna talk about is um, just sleep. I have been struggling with getting proper rest since I have been back. It doesn't matter where I am. I, you know, I'm waking up at odd hours um, in the morning. I'm going to sleep crazy, napping throughout the day, and I just haven't been able to get on a good schedule. I think most of it is mental because I know that I'm, a, I'm getting ready to go back um, to Egypt and I'm going to be eight or seven hours ahead, depending on the state that I'm trying to call. And so my body is just fighting against that and then the jet lag. So I have not been able to get on a decent schedule um, for sleep. And it has definitely taken a toll on me. But I think that that's something that um, will correct itself when I get back to Egypt because then uh, I'll be set on that schedule for a year or so. This leads me into the next thing that I want to talk about, which is homeschooling. I have been homeschooling Jamari um, since last year, and the schedule has been crazy. Now, I appreciate the fact that I don't have to have like a rigorous you know, schedule with him. I can teach him however, uh, whenever I want. That's really not the issue. It's just a matter of doing it. And with my sleep being all over the place and me, you know, trying to bring a little coins in, uh, it's been a struggle. It really has. Um, even just splitting up his schedule, me not wanting to have to come back to finish his uh, classes, it's just been a lot. And so I really have been struggling with homeschooling him and um, it bothers me because I know that it's important for a child to have some type of order. Don't get me wrong, he has order. However, schooling is um, more so like hands-on repetition um, with the things that he's learning and I feel like it's kind of all over the place, not because of him, but because of me. I'm really just gonna keep the ball rolling, but it's, it's definitely a struggle thus far. The next thing that I feel like is a struggle for me is um, the, the mixed feelings that I'm having or feeling like I'm torn between two worlds. You know, when you're living abroad for so long, the only conversation that you can have is about that, you know, and your journey and how you've grown. And then you're separated from the people friends and family that you love and care for, for you know so many months or years at a time, with them growing and changing, you're growing and changing too. So when you come back, you feel like you're having to like insert yourself into the old lifestyle that you used to have, and it's just not working. It's just not working because things have changed. Things that used to interest you no longer interest you anymore. Um, you know, certain foods that you miss, like you can talk about those things and you can go to restaurants and all of that, but you definitely feel like there is a lack of, I don't know if the proper word is identity or lack of connection, like it's there, but 
it's almost like you're rebuilding, you know, the relationship, a broken relationship. The last thing would be like me feeling like my freedom is gone. Let me explain. Everything in Africa, well specifically Tanzania and Egypt, is like poly poly, it's slow. Like things move fast, but they take their time to do it. I, I know that doesn't make sense, but you just have to trust me on this. And when you come back here, it's like fast, fast, fast. Everything is fast. The food is fast. Conversations are fast. You, you're driving fast. And they drive fast too. It's just a different culture. America is all about everything being fast. And um, I'm just not used to that anymore. Also, the idea that I have to work up under somebody's thumb again um, bothers me. I will do it, but there's something about the type of freedom you have when you contract and you're able to work the hours you wanna work. You have that freedom to move around. It's very, very difficult to come back and work a eight to five, seven to four you know, type of job where you know they're telling you you have to work mandatory overtime. And although you're making all of this money, you feel good about the money, you really don't have time to enjoy it, to, to do anything. And I'm just turned off by that completely. My freedom comes where I'm able to live somewhere where it's affordable. I don't have to worry about time. The sun comes out, I know what time it is. When they start praying, because they pray five times a day because they're Muslim, um, I know around what time it is and so I don't need a clock really. Um, but I just miss the, the, the whole feeling, the whole vibe of being able to just do my thing with no pressure. So yeah, I just wanted to uh, go a little bit deeper into like my struggles. It's not anything that I can't adapt to. It's just, it's, it's what I'm going through, you know? And I didn't talk about this the first time I came because I was just trying to really figure out what it was, but this is my second go around and I think it's important that people understand that you struggling to come back is a real thing. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.